Dangerous travel as a record number of people take to the roads and to the skies this holiday week. The staggering toll, take a look at this on an icy, foggy Virginia highway. A 69 vehicle pileup, 51 people injured. Treacherous fog in Cass County, Missouri as well. You can barely see there. Several buses catching fire at the Los Angeles airport, delaying passengers trying to reach the terminal. That incident is still under investigation. While here in New York City, sheets of ice falling from a high rise as tourists crowd the city. The holiday forecast in a moment, but ABC's Trevor Alt leads us off tonight from New York. Tonight, dangerous travel conditions across the country. Oh my God. A nearly 70 car okay. pile up in dense fog on this icy Virginia highway. More than 50 people sent to the hospital, some with critical injuries. Trucks piled on top of trucks. Thankfully, no fatalities. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. In New York City, danger from up above. I heard a loud, loud bang, and then all of a sudden I hear ice crash onto the floor, like two feet from, from where I was standing to my right side. Sheets of ice falling from this high rise, sending people running for cover, shielding their children. So we're seeing massive chunks of ice like that that are falling off of that skyscraper. You can imagine the velocity from that height to the point that police have had to close off these streets in a major part of Manhattan. Further west, fog creating treacherous travel conditions in Missouri. While two storm systems dumping heavy rain in the west and the southeast, these roads swamped in Alabama. And in Southern California, this bizarre road hazard, a pair of empty passenger buses catching fire. Creating havoc for commuters at LAX, firefighters rushing in to battle the flames. And all of this as a record number of drivers hit the road for the holidays. More than 100 million Americans expected to travel through the end of the year, with the worst day on the road still coming the day after Christmas. All right, and Trevor all joins us now live at the scene of that falling ice here in New York. And Trevor, part of the problem tonight, the temps are rising. That's right, Tom. This is an area that's filled with holiday shoppers and tourists, and tonight police still have it closed off. We know within the past few days at least one person was hit in the face by this falling ice, and with milder weather on the way, this could be an issue heading into the work week. Tom? Trevor Alt leading us off tonight. Trevor, we thank you. Let's get right to Greg Dutra from our Chicago station, WLS. And Greg, I know you're tracking two storms tonight. Yeah, a major one is that one that goes along I-5 out in California, where millions are expected to travel and a few inches of snow are possible along the I-5 corridor. That snow change, or rain rather, changes to snow as you head into the Sierra Nevada mountains. Now off to the southeast, the second storm system that we're tracking, this one more consistent with a tropical system, and while it is not, it will still bring high winds and up to nine inches of rain through coastal Georgia and into South Carolina. But the good news here is that warmer and drier weather will arrive by by the holiday, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, they should be near 50 degrees in areas like Chicago. Tom? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.